Since becoming a DoorDash driver over four years ago, one thing has always been true. Acceptance rate does not matter. You could just decline order after order after order with no consequence. Yet for some reason, I still felt the need to test this over and over and over again. See, I needed to know for myself that acceptance rate meant absolutely nothing. That's just how I am. And after doing test after test, I came to discover that the only thing it did was lower your overall pay, which let's face it, that's counterproductive. Then came this email. Hi Blake, as a dasher who maintains a high customer rating, regularly accepts most orders, and provides great service to customers, you'll now have preferential access to higher paying orders every time you dash. These deliveries pay at least $2 per mile during the delivery. Access begins on June 29th to select dashers in Salt Lake City. Hmm, how interesting. The thing I'd been testing for years now had just flipped on itself. So, did acceptance rate finally matter? Now, at first, I was obviously skeptical. I mean, DoorDash has lied time and time again. First, they were caught stealing tips from dashers. Then there was the whole lowering of the base pay to add on a higher base pay for long orders. So why would they be telling the truth about this? Well, after crying wolf so many times, I figured they were bound to tell the truth eventually, right? So I did what I always do when a new DoorDash feature comes out. I tested it. But we are still trying to maintain that priority status to see if this new DoorDash rewards is actually worth it and can help me overcome one of the suckiest days, Wednesday, and I can still make some good money. And then I tested it some more. And we're seeing if this new priority subscriber rewards program can help you out in the morning. This is our second day of doing a test. And we all know that the morning shifts in my area are terrible. I've made countless videos on this they just always suck. So we're seeing if this rewards program can boost up my earnings for the morning shift. And after an entire week of testing this, I came to the conclusion that I actually was able to make more money while maintaining a higher acceptance rate. Now, of course, this could have just been luck. Because of how unpredictable DoorDash is, you really can't come to a conclusion about anything. That was until this happened. I started what ended up being the hardest work week of my life, working 112 hours trying to make $3,000 in a week. Yeah, I didn't even come close. You see, that whole week I did what I always do, be decently selective with the orders I take, and try to remain around a 40 to 50% acceptance rate, so it's not too terrible trying to get top dasher at the end of the month. And what did that get me? A big fat slap in the face from Tony himself, and I squeaked out with a disappointing $20.48 hourly average for the week. And that was with me doing everything in my power to make $3,000. I mean, I was pulling out every trick in the book. Four years of experience went into this week, and that's what it got me. So yeah, I was pretty bummed about that, but I went on business as usual. It was the end of the month at this point, so you guys know what that means for me. That means accepting almost every single order DoorDash throws at me to get my acceptance rate up to 70% so I can be a top dasher. And yeah, you won't believe what happened. I started what I thought was just your average Thursday dinner shift. You know, nothing too good, nothing too bad. Thursday's usually a pretty average day. But it turned out not to be so average after all. I ended up making $30 an hour accepting almost every order DoorDash threw at me, and that includes ones like this. Sounds impossible, right? Well, you see, as I was doing this, I noticed a pattern that kept occurring. It seemed like every single time I took a terrible order like this, Tony himself would see that as a sacrifice, and he'd end up rewarding me with orders like this one, which sometimes turned out to be over $20 in total payout. Now, you could basically chalk that shift up to luck of the draw, and maybe it was just an overly busy Thursday. And yeah, I could have done that. But this is where things get interesting. I was intrigued at this point and wanted to see how much I could make accepting every order with the new Priority Dasher program, something I had never done before. So, that's exactly what I did. I'm going to be accepting every single order today, and that's in part to test this out as a top dasher in the Priority Dasher program, and also to get my 64% acceptance rate all the way back up to above 70%, so I can be top dasher for next month. So we got our first order. It's not a very good one to Village Baker, but we're going to go ahead and get it done. So what do you know, as I'm driving over, once again, we get a stack order. Once again, the pattern had showed itself. 
While this didn't happen all the time, it still did happen fairly frequently. Then came Sunday. It is now Sunday evening and I'm most excited for this shift because Sunday evenings are the absolute busiest times of the week. So we're really gonna get to see how much this affects and how much we can make accepting every order as a top priority dasher with our acceptance rate now, I believe it's at 77%. The reason I was so intrigued by Sunday is because Sunday is when the biggest orders show themselves. Because let's face it, if there's no big orders out there, it's pretty hard for DoorDash to send you the big orders. But on Sunday, there's always plenty of big orders to go around because people like to order huge amounts of foods for their families to indulge in, especially pizza. And that's when the money started rolling in. I was seeing orders like this regularly, and my average order payout for the night was over $8, and that's with me accepting every single order. Do you guys realize what that means? That means that every single order I saw and every single order DoorDash sent me was on average a little bit over $8. That means no tip orders, no garbage orders, nothing like that. Insane, right? Almost sounds too good to be true to never see orders like this. Well, it was a reality for me at this point. It seemed like the higher my acceptance rate climbed, the higher orders I was getting, and I could say goodbye to those pesky no tip orders. Which brings us to this week. So far, I've only worked about 11 hours, and all of those have been in the early hours of the day, from about 7 a.m. to noon. And with a couple 30 minute breaks in there, I'm averaging about $21 an hour with an 84% acceptance rate. That's an average order payout of over $6.50, and that's every order I see. And that's also not including any cash orders I've done this week, which usually pay out to around a $5 to $10 tip. So in reality, I'm probably averaging over $22 an hour with an average payout for the order being above $7.50 and I've yet to see any no tip orders, and to be honest, I don't plan on seeing any anytime soon. So, why does all this matter? Well, it really doesn't, unless you like seeing less bad orders and more good orders. Now, does that mean you'll make more money? Well, maybe. I mean, why not try it out in your area? Let's face it, DoorDash is a game, and I feel like it's important to leave no stone unturned. So, the bottom line that I found? DoorDash increases the order pay for a higher acceptance rate. Now I know what a lot of the comments are going to say and I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking that I'm getting paid by DoorDash to put out this video or something but I swear to you I am not. It would be absolutely amazing if Tony himself just tossed me a couple hundred dollars, couple thousand dollars to make a video like this. I would greatly appreciate it. So if any DoorDash executives are out there and want to pay me for putting out videos like this, I'll take the money. But I just wanted to show you guys what I've been seeing lately and just how crazy this whole thing is. I mean an 84% acceptance rate that's something that I've never had in my entire four years of doing this whole thing but it's made the morning shift way easier and I do not see a single dead time there's this saying around the DoorDash community that's called the summer slowdown and I have yet to run into that there has been no slowdown I get orders consistently at all times of the day I mean I'll go out at six in the morning and I'm still getting hit with orders I'll literally wake up turn on my dash and I'm getting orders while I'm in bed I mean that's that's literally how busy it is. That's that's the frequency of orders I'm getting at all times of day. So you can think that DoorDash is paying me. You can think that upping your acceptance rate would do absolutely nothing and you would just be wasting money out there. And that might be true in your area. Every single market is different, but I figure why not try it? I mean, there's no harm in it. Maybe you lose a couple dollars an hour for a week. I don't know, but I think it's fun to try out different things, test different things, because let's face it, DoorDash can get extremely redundant and boring after many weeks and months and years of doing it. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you want to see that $3,000 week that I was talking about, check out this playlist over here and I'll see you guys next time.